Unit 5, learning target number 4. Identify and write rates and unit rate. We've been talking about ratios, and now we're going to talk about rates. So what is a rate? Well, a rate, if you notice, comes from the same word as ratio. So rate and ratio look awfully similar when you write them out beside each other. They both have this R-A-T in front of them, which means they're very, very similar. In fact, they are in some ways exactly the same. A rate is a kind of ratio. So a rate is a type of ratio that compares two quantities. What is a quantity? A quantity is an amount or some number of something having different units of measure. And that's really important, the units of measure that we have. So for example, if I said I ran one mile every eight minutes, one mile every eight minute, that is a ratio of miles to minutes. Notice that I have two different measures, two different kinds of measurement. I'm measuring in miles and I'm measuring in minutes and I'm comparing the two. And the one and the eight are the quantities. So let's take a look at these. Which of these are rates? Which of these are rates? 50 miles in one hour, is that a rate? Well, yes, we have two different quantities and we have two different kinds of measure. We have miles and we have hours. So yes, that is a rate. This is a rate. The rocket traveled 1,000 feet per second. So if we write that as a ratio, we would find 1,000 feet per one second. So one second. We have two different units of measure, two different quantities. Yes, this is a rate. Slade ate 10 hot dogs in eight minutes. Wow. Do you ever think of hot dogs as a unit of measurement? 10 hot dogs in eight minutes. 10 dogs in eight minutes. Yes, we have two different units of measure. We're measuring in hot dogs and in minutes. 10 to 8 are two different quantities. Yes, that is a rate. Well, what about this? Franny walked five feet for every three feet. What does that mean? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. She walked five feet for every three feet. That can't be a ratio because we've got the same measures on the top and the bottom. Five feet for every three feet, we have the same units of measure. That is not a ratio because it doesn't have two different measures. For this lesson, we also need to understand what a unit rate is. What is a unit rate? Well, we have ratios. We've talked about ratios, and we talked about a kind of ratio called a rate, which measured two different measures, two different quantities of two different measures. Now, a unit rate is a kind of rate. It measures two different units, two different kinds of measure, but it involves the word unit. Now, what does the word unit mean? mean? Well, when we think of unit, we might think of unicycle, which is a bicycle with one wheel. Or we might think of uh, unify, which means to get everybody all together in one. Unit means one. And a unit rate, a unit rate is simply a rate with one in the numerator or the denominator. That's the definition. But what we're thinking about is we're thinking of something per one of something else. So for example, Lena ran eight miles in one hour. It took her one hour to run eight miles. We have a unit rate here because there's one in the denominator. It took her one hour to run eight miles. And unit rates are really cool because if we take the one hour and we change it to two hours, how far did she run in two hours? We simply we multiply down here by 2, we multiply up here by 2, and we get 16. That's what's really neat about unit rates is they help us to solve lots of different problems. So moving on, let's take one more example. SEMA swam 50 yards in one minute. Is that a kind of unit rate? Yes, it is because we have 1 in the numerator in this case. For every one minute, she ran 50 yards. So if we wanted to know how far she ran in two minutes, then we would know that we'd multiplied by two to get from one to two. We also know that we're going to multiply by two on the bottom to get 100 yards. So in every two minutes, she'll run 100 yards. And those are unit rates.